the Salt Lake Institute of Genealogy has three virtual courses to choose from in fall 2019. Enhance your research skills from the comfort of your home by learning what research success looks like and how to achieve it. Learn from the field's top professionals, network in a private group, attend class online from anywhere, and study on your own schedule throughout the week. We've asked the course coordinator to tell us a little bit about the course to help you decide if it's the right fit for you. Certified genealogist Angela Packer McGee is the course coordinator for Advanced Evidence Analysis Practicum. Keep watching to learn more about her background and the course. My name is Angela McGee and I'm a certified genealogist who loves genealogy education. I teach at several of the major genealogical institutes and I serve as the education director for the National Genealogical Society. How long have you been working on genealogy and how did you become interested in it? I've been working on genealogy for over 20 years. I started as a teenager. My grandmother was a genealogist and my mother was very interested in family history. But at that time, I was more interested in the stories about my ancestors and the photos. So I interviewed both of my grandmothers to get information on the family and I went and visited every family member and great aunt to find photos so I could make a four generation pedigree. So it's just been in maybe the last 15 years that I really focused on research and in-depth um, genealogy and then becoming a professional. Have you had any prior SLIG experience? I have been attending SLIG for over a decade, for several years as a student, and then I started as an instructor and then became a course coordinator. And I love attending SLIG and spending January with my genealogy colleagues every year. What course will you be coordinating? I will be coordinating the Virtual Advanced Evidence Analysis Practicum course. Please tell us about the course. This course is based on the idea that hands-on practice solving cases is an excellent teacher. So rather than sitting in class and listening to presentations, the students in this class are presented a case that they get to work through and try and solve on their own. Then they get back together with the instructor and the other students to discuss what methodologies work to solve the case, what they tried and didn't work, and just generally learn both from the instructor and from the other students in the course. So now we've taken this course virtual and we do it all online, which I think is a better format because the students have a week to work through each case instead of just 24 hours. And then we get together once a week to discuss with the instructor and the other students. What are the main topics covered in the course? New for this year, we are going to be featuring all cases that involve some DNA evidence. So in the past, we've done brick wall type cases, and this year we are featuring uh, genetic genealogy, cousin matching. We've got some DNA experts that are coming to teach in the course and present cases so that students can have more experience uh, solving cases with genetic evidence. Who would benefit the most from this course? Students that have a strong foundation both in genealogical research methods and experience using DNA evidence. This is still an advanced course and so they're going to be complex cases. Um, in the past we've had the prerequisite that the students have taken an advanced course at one of the genealogical institutes and so this year we've added the prerequisite that they've also taken a DNA course. There will be some students who are very interested that might not have taken the institute courses, but they might have the equivalent experience. So we're offering the opportunity for them to write a summary of a case that they've solved using genealogical evidence along with DNA um, to be admitted into the course. What basic knowledge should students have before taking the course? Students for this course should have a really strong foundation in uh, genealogical research and solving uh, complex cases or brick wall type cases along with a thorough understanding of um, using DNA in genealogical research. They should have tested at several of the testing companies and be experienced um, searching out cousin matches and shared matches and identifying common ancestors and using that evidence in combination with the genealogical records to solve problems. 
What should students expect to learn by the end of the course? Uh, hopefully by the end of the course, the students will feel even more comfortable solving genealogical cases with DNA evidence. Each of the five instructors that we have selected has a different type of case that might use different methodologies or be from a different geographic location or time period. And so we're really trying to help people get experience using the, this type of evidence for solving cases. We hope you enjoyed learning about the SLIG Virtual Advanced Evidence Analysis Practicum course. Registration for virtual courses opens June 15th. Check out the website sligvirtual.ugagenealogy.org for more information.